What is going on TechTubers? This is David with Random Tech Tips and today I'm going to be talking about the newly announced MSI Radeon RX 580 Armor MK2 graphics card and whether or not you should consider buying it. Alright guys, so MSI just announced that it will be releasing another line of the RX 500 series GPUs. They're naming this revision the Armor MK2 and have given their cooler a red and black paint job. While the RX 560 and RX 570 versions are slated to release first, I'm just going to be focusing on their RX 580 8GB model to see if it's something that you should consider buying. So there's really not a lot to go on based on MSI site since the card doesn't have a release date yet. However, we can compare it to its counterpart, the first generation RX 580 armor. According to MSI, the biggest advantage of the MK2 line will be higher clock speeds, if you consider 14 megahertz a significant increase in clock speed, and better cooling with larger heat pipes, as well as the new Torx 2.0 fans. When it comes to performance though, there won't be any real measurable differences between the two revisions, so I don't know how relevant this card was. But then again, RX 580s are selling at crazy high prices due to the high demand from the cryptocurrency market. So could this be MSI's subtle way of sneaking in some extra profits by capitalizing on the current mining craze? When the whole selling point of the card practically revolves around being supremely silent, it does make me wonder. Gamers will rarely push their cards to the point that fans are running full blast at all times, unless you're doing some serious overclocking. Miners, however, would benefit greatly from decreased noise, as they normally run their GPUs at full speed with fans set at high RPMs. But I digress. In general, there is no real measurable advantage to buying the MK2 unless you're in love with the aesthetics, and I must admit they do look really good, and by all means, you should buy it. The only reason I could see anyone else buying this card is if its price reflects a normal MSRP, which I highly doubt, and if it's readily available. Now don't get me wrong, RX 580 GPUs are great for 1080p gaming at 60 frames per second in most titles. So if you're in the market for a new card to game at 1080p, then as long as prices aren't outrageous, you won't regret picking the MK2 up, if you can find one that is. One thing to keep in mind though, Nvidia Volta is just around the corner with an expected release date sometime in early 2018. So once those cards are released, I don't really know how relevant the RX 580 will be anymore and you could potentially get one at a much lower price. But again, if you're in need of a graphics card right now because you've not been able to order one for the past couple months due to the insanely high prices, then you're not gonna go wrong getting this at a reasonable MSRP. Well, that's gonna be it for this video, Tech Tubers. If you like the video, then hit the like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll tech you later.